<laughs> well, uh, you know, we are very happy today you, you share your experience with, with us about uncle's condition. Uh, first of all, can you uh, make a brief introduction about yourself, which country you come from, something like that. Okay, um, my name is Jennifer. Mm -hmm. um, uh, this is my father. His uh, name is Kyle. Um, we are from Papua New Guinea. Okay, you uh, you know you come to China for for mm -hmm. uncle's uh, kidney disease, right? Uncle is suffering from kidney disease, yes. right? So before you came to China, how about uncle's condition? Um, before we came to China, um, uncle. He was told back in our own country that his he had um, his kidneys had failed, uh -huh. and uh, he was uh, recommended to have a fistula done in uh, Manila. Mm -hmm. And uh, we went to Manila, and the doctor in Manila uh, knows about uh, the level of care back in our country, so. He suggested that a uh, kidney transplant would be better. Uh, from there we went back to PNG to uh, look for a donor and then we came across the problem of uh, finding a suitable donor. Uh, and then um, through uh, so some... Through, through somebody, through sample, sample you know our hospital, right? That's right. Um, uh, through Saipo, we heard about your hospital, the hospital here, mm -hmm. and um, Saipo also told us uh, about his father-in-law who came here and how he has improved. And that's when we started looking into um, coming here. So. Um, so before you came to China, uh, the, the local doctor only told you uh, that uh, dialysis or kidney transplant, that's the only solution for uncle's condition, right? That's right. Uh -huh. And uh, what, what, what exactly attracted you to come to our hospital? Uh, because it provided something other than um, the transplant and uh, dialysis. Um, it gave us hope that there was something else apart from the two dialysis and the kidney transplant that was offered in most of the other hospitals back in uh, Manila, also in Singapore. That's where most of our uh, people uh, back in our country who have kidney disease, they, uh, the doctors, the local doctors recommend them to go there mm -hmm. to do transplant and uh, getting the fistula done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before uncle and you came to our hospital, how about uncle's condition, his creatine level, uh, his any discomforts? Yes, uh, uncle's uh, condition, uh, because we, uh, we, the level of care back in our country for dialysis patient is not that good, uh, uncle's condition had worsened. So um, by the time we came here, mm -hmm. his creatine level had gone up to 1,100. Mm -hmm. So and um, also at that time, how much urine output did Uncle have? Uncle, do you still remember how much urine output do you have at that time? Uh, hardly any. Hardly any. I think below 100 or below 100 or 200. Just below that level, okay. near 200 level meal. Okay, uncle. Also, before you came to China, uh, do you have any discom Did you have any discomforts? Uh, uh, yes, he had discomforts like um, when he stood up suddenly mm -hmm. from sitting down or lying down when he stood up, sat mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. He had um, his head was spinning. So he had to get up very slowly and hold on to things. Mm -hmm. um, and um, he also felt nausea mm -hmm. uh, and um, his appetite wasn't that good. Mm -hmm. So he lost a lot of weight. 
before then. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you already uh, received the treatment for 20 days, right? Almost 20 days, right? Mm -hmm. So, Uncle, how is your feeling now? Can you walk for a long time? Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I came to China. Uh -huh. Because uh, what I could not do before, I'm able to do now. Like walking, uh, walking up, getting up, Quickly. without, without help. Uh -huh. I mean, Uncle, before you came to China, how much you can eat? How much you could eat for dinner, for, for meals each time? Uh, hardly, hardly anything. I mean, when I was trying to eat, uh, I felt like vomiting. Uh -huh. So I didn't like how food was an enemy to me. Uh -huh. But now, How about now? No, very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, I heard from the nurse that you can also work a long time now. You 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 also like to go to the park. Yeah, yeah. For work around. Uh, yeah. Now I feel like walking around the streets and parking, but because the uh, treatments are near, <laughs> I cannot go. Um. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uncle. So, how much your urine output do you have now? Now my urine has increased to uh, a, a big improvement, up to eight hundred fifty ml the other day. Okay. So it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you know. Uh, that's the normal people for normal people the the normal urine output for one day for 24 hours is more or less than 1000 min, uh, milliliter now so that means your urine output before you came to china and after you came to china has changed a lot increased a lot from below 100 milliliter to 1000 almost uh, 850 milliliter right okay is that right uncle yeah yeah <laughs> that's right <laughs> okay oh uncle after the 20 days treatment do you have a general idea about our treatment now what you what did you receive after you arrived in china what when i when i i'm, I'm getting a lot of uh, new treatments that I've never seen in my country, like uh, osma, osma, osma therapy, therapy. Uh, food bath, food bath. Uh, yeah, 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 this needles. <laughs> yeah, acupuncture. Yeah. yeah, the name is yeah. acupuncture. And then I think a lot of medicines, medicines that don't have uh, side effects, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of those ones and I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad I came to China. Mm -hmm. But Uncle, you know, that's only part of our treatment. Uh, we also have other treatments. Do you, do, did you ever see? You know, that the, uh, that's, uh, depends on the patient's specific condition. You know, uh, we also have the medicine bath. Did you ever heard about that? Yeah, we heard about medicine, but but uh, he cannot <laughs> currently take that because of his uh, catheter. How about anima? And um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever heard of, heard that in your country before? No, no, no. no. no? I've heard of this one. So I've never heard of it, and I've never seen. Uh -huh. Okay, you know, actually, the anima and osmotherapy and the, the acupuncture, also food bus and the medicine bus, that's all the uh, comprehensive, part of our comprehensive treatment in, in Shijiazhuang Kidney Disease Hospital. Well, time flies, right? Uh, almost 20 days went by. So I know that, as far as I know that uh, during the treatment, Jennifer, your daughter, also became sick, right? So how do you think about the service and the, the, the treatment here? The service and the treatment here are very good. Um, especially to the nurses and the doctors. They are 
ever present to answer to any um, questions that we might have, uh, assist us in any, anything that we might need. So that's the big plus. Mm -hmm. um, whereas uh, maybe I don't have uh, too much experience in other countries, but back in my country, it's, um, it's difficult trying to uh, get the kind of attention like uh, you have nurses and doctors surrounding you. Uh, you know, according to your knowledge, you said that in your country, you never, you, you never came across this condition before, right? I mean, the doctors, uh, the doctors and the nurses, they, they never take such good care of your patients and the family members, mm -hmm. right? You know, actually, in here, in China, uh, especially in our hospital, it's very common that uh, we nurse and the doctors, they all take good care of the patients and also they treat the patients, not only as the patients, but what's your feeling? So is, that, uh, is there any feeling that you feel like saying? Oh yeah, this, you, you don't miss home. Everybody is around and um, it's, it's good. It's good that uh, a lot of, you, you have a lot of nurses around, you can uh, chat with them and you're not left alone. <laughs> okay, you know, we just want to, uh, want to let the patients and the family members, they, they feel like at home and yeah. also we, we treat the patients not only as the patient but also as one of our family members. Do you have that, that feeling? That, that's, that's correct. Um, we feel that um, it's, it's one, um, one big extended family where um, even though we are far from home we don't really miss home because this feels like it has the feeling of a family home atmosphere. Mm -hmm. So after such a long time communication and uh, uh, we, we every every day we see each other and we spend a uh, happy time together. So do you have any good suggestions or advices for our service or our treatment? Um, we are very satisfied with what we've seen so far. Uh, the only thing is that um, you know, it would be good if more people know about this hospital. Because back in my country, um, I don't think people know, people know about this hospital. Um, we wouldn't have known to until uh, one of our relatives told us about it. Otherwise, we would have gone straight to um, Philippines done a fistula there and got back home with the problem still there. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you can get your hospital out there in the open and maybe more people can know about this hospital, the treatments you can provide and give them an option so if they can, um, uh, if, if they know about this, I think more people will come here. So uh, at the end, near the end of the video, do you have any uh, words for the patients who, who also want to come to this hospital? Would you like to say that? Uncle, do you have some words for the patients who are willing to come to the hospital but still have some thoughts about the hospital? Do you have some words for them? Yeah, we, uh, they, they made up uh, some doubts because uh, they've never heard about this this hospital. And uh, generally, yeah, when 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 I'm in in my country, we don't talk about uh, China. No one knows about China. But uh, well, since I came, I think very good, good treatments, good people, good hospital. But uh, the, the problem is that they don't know the people back home. They don't know about this place, mm -hmm. or they have some, some doubt mm -hmm. because uh, they say 
generally because they don't know about the hospital and the country. Okay. Uh, well, uh, at the end of the, the video, uh, on behalf of, uh, of all the staff of international department, we sincerely hope that uncle can recover soon. Thank you. Thank you.